Hello! It has been a while since I've sat down and filmed a video. Happy 2024. Please let me know how you've been in the comments. I have a lot to fill you in on. I want to talk about last year and some of the goals that I had last year that didn't really go as planned and why and just why I haven't really been showing up a lot online, what's been going on with me. If you watch my other channel, I did touch on some uh, something that happened to us at the end of last year from October to the end of last year that I want to talk about here too because it's just a lot. So yeah, I hope that you're well. You might want to grab a a cup of coffee or tea or a snack because this might get kind of long. I would have tea, but I have Invisalign now, so I can't have tea. Um, well, I can, but I can, I have to take my trays out and you can only have them out for up to two hours a day. But if you want to grab a snack, go right ahead. I guess I would just start, well, first I am going back to blonde. So right now my hair, um, I wanted to cut, I wanted something fresh, something fun. I actually want to go about an inch or so, maybe even two inches shorter. I wanted something different. I just turned 38 at the end of January and I thought 38 clean slate, that is my motto this year. And I wanted to do something fun. I've been gradually going back to blonde, trying to get more introduced, but I really wanted to keep the health of my hair intact after dyeing at copper. I went back to copper a little while, but I feel like I just want to go back blonde now. It's a little bit easier to maintain. Right now it's kind of dirty. I think this is third day here, fourth day here. Um, so right now, don't really pay attention. I'm trying to figure out how I want to style it in this cut. She kind of gave me a little bit of bangs here. Um, but yeah, I really like it a lot. And I'm excited to go back blonde just because the upkeep is a lot easier for me, especially when my grays start to grow out. They blend in a little bit better with copper. It was like, oh, you can see every single gray hair. But anyways, let me go ahead and get started. Now, I will say that I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, and I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do my makeup and talk. I feel like I get distracted and I have a hard time multitasking, so I'm gonna try my best here, so please be patient with me. It has been a minute, so I'm gonna put some lip oil on first because my lips feel dry. This is the Dior Lip Oil in pink. I'm gonna start by putting on the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I really like using this as a primer. It just kind of helps to smooth out my pores. I think I talked about last year how I was dealing with some rosacea. Last year, last spring in particular, I do not know, but you guys know I have an autoimmune and I had the worst issues with my health. I actually ended up on an inhaler again. I haven't had an inhaler or had to be on an inhaler since fourth grade. I think it's just things that happen to my body after having COVID a couple of times. Um, yeah, I been in and out of the doctor trying to figure out what's going on. We kind of have a program in place now that's been very beneficial for me. I just had a lot of inflammation. I was always run down, um, my moods were all over the place, my hormones were crazy. <laughs> and I finally got myself into a place where I feel more like myself now and I can actually, I don't know if any of you have autoimmune, you know, the brain fog and fatigue can be really difficult and hard to manage. And I, last year, it just, for some reason, something happened and everything, just everything at once. I just was constantly getting sick constantly feeling run down. Rosacea was another thing that, I, that's where I was going with this, um, that I think I talked about in one of my videos last year is that I started dealing with rosacea. I never had it, never had any issues like that before. Some of it could be just getting older, um, hormones and everything, but I, I do feel like it's gotten a lot better since I've changed up my diet. I will say I used to eat primarily plant-based. Now I've had to introduce some animal protein in my diet. I found out I was anemic. I used to eat a lot of quinoa, a lot of rice. Sorry, I decided not to use this Tushy Claw and instead I'm gonna use the Flawless Filter Charlotte Tilbury. Give myself a little bit of highlight before I put on my foundation. But I used to eat a lot of grains and I just, for some reason, couldn't really tolerate it anymore. But one thing that I did last year that made, I think, the biggest difference in my health is I started to cut back on drinking. Now, during the pandemic, um, I don't know if you were like me, but I started to get very used to having wine at home, having wine with dinner, having maybe a couple of glasses, 
and it just became this very habitual thing for me, kind of like a way for me to relax and unwind. It did help me relax, but it also, I think caused a lot of the inflammation that I was dealing with. And I just could feel that I needed to take a break. So I started to taper back a little bit. I'm gonna use my Armani um, Luminous Silk. I just realized that I haven't been talking about the products that I'm using. I'm just kind of going in, so I'm sorry. I'll just list everything that I used down below in the description box if you're curious, because I can already tell that I'm getting distracted. I haven't done this in a while. But anyways, what I was saying is that there is a hair on my forehead. Okay, my goal for this year is to just is not drink. So, so far this year, I haven't had any wine, haven't had anything um, alcoholic, and I feel a lot better. I think the only time that I really struggle is when there's something new at one of the theme parks or restaurants around here where I wanna try something. And you guys know my husband is a sommelier, so it's very difficult to, <laughs> to kind of stay away from wine in particular, just because I love the food and wine experience. But I do think when it comes to health, I just feel so much better. And it's just really helped my, it's helped my fatigue and I feel way less bloated and just, I don't know, my mental clarity has improved. And I can't say if it's just from quitting drinking because I also, you know, I make sure that I do some sort of movement every day. I've been doing Tracy Anderson's method for 15 years now and I started to do the my mode last year and it's kind of one of those things. So if you look at it on Instagram, it looks very odd and at first when I saw it I was like hmm I don't know about this this is a little bit odd but once I started doing it and once I could we she does a lot she does monthly calls so that you can ask her questions and she can kind of walk you through different programs to do for your body type she's such a visionary and I'm so inspired and I have it has truly changed the game for me I feel like I had kind of hit a plateau doing mat if you're familiar with her method you start there's a beginner and intermediate and advanced and you do it on a mat and I feel like I kind of had hit a plateau and the my mode with its changing planes and involved different types of equipment has just completely changed the game for me and I have seen such a huge difference in my energy levels and endurance and I'm really happy that I have something like this as I get older to help me not just stay in shape I don't that's not why I do it. It's really to help my joints and to help me stand up tall and help, um, you know, just I feel good. I feel really good. I have energy. I can go up and down three flights of stairs without getting out of breath. I'm going to use this brow pencil from Trish McAvoy. Uh, this is the Precision Brow Shaper in Natural Brunette. Now this came in, let me see if I can pick it up and show you. There's some things in here that do not belong but this Trish McAvoy planner, which has pages like this, so you can pop the products in and out. They're magnets, and these are wonderful. So if you need a lot of makeup at once, they'll have these already full with all the products. I'll see if there's one available now and pop it up on the screen if there is, because they're fantastic. I had run out of a lot of different things, and I just was, this um, was last spring, and happened to need concealer, there was a mascara in here, a brow pencil, the brow wax, and I thought, why not just get this? Because I feel like it saves you so much money than having to buy them individually. Now it is pricey up front, but when you add in everything that you're getting in the set, it's actually such a great deal if you need a lot at once or if you want to try something new. I love her system because it's just so travel friendly. It's not an overwhelming amount of, I, I'm kind of just into something quick and easy, but also it's gonna make me look very polished, very put together. And that's what I love about Trish McAvoy. It's no no real frills or fluff, although I, I do like frills and fluff, but her makeup is just very easy, which sounds bad, but it's very effortless. And I just think she's amazing. I actually have her book back there. It's called The Makeup of a Confident Woman. When I, well, I guess I've never really talked about this before. Maybe I have. I'm sure I have in some video at some point. I've been posting on this channel since 2010, so I'm sure in one of those videos. But I'll talk about it now because I haven't really talked about this in a while. But when I first got into working, well, this was 
probably my third job in cosmetics, was working at a Blue Mercury. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with them, but they sell a lot of different uh, high-end luxury and, you know, uh, Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier makeup brands. And the one that I worked in was on King Street in Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know if it's still like this now because it's been years since I've been into that store, but they were the only store that carried Chanel. It was very special that we got to have that in our store. And I remember that's when I fell in love with luxury beauty because we had to go to what they call school. If you've ever worked at a cosmetic counter, you know what I'm talking about. They refer to your training as school. And so we got to go to all the different Chanel schools, the training, and learn about the different products. I was there when one of the Sublimage creams or something came out and it was such a big deal because it was all about the vanilla planifolia flower and this, it was, it was just so much fun to learn about and also to get the gratis, which was very nice. But Trish McAvoy was one of the brands and is one of the brands that Blue Mercury still carries. And I just, I had never heard of Trish McAvoy before. Um, she sold in Nordstrom and other department stores, but we didn't have those where I grew up when I was younger. The department store that I shopped at and where my first job in cosmetics was at was in the, in Belk in the town I grew up in. So we didn't have a Trish McAvoy counter. And I just remember being in awe of how her planner system is so innovative and how everything has a place. And I still, to this day, just uh, admire her so much. And I think that she's, her um, products are overlooked. Sorry, I feel like there's a fuzz or something on my face and it's very distracting. But I just feel like her products are overlooked and um, they're very, very good. I've even used her skincare before and it's really nice and her fragrances are very nice as well. In fact, one of the, um, a little travel fra fragrance came with this planner. I have it back here. This is the Trish McAvoy 100. It's really nice. It's a kind of a musk, a light musk fragrance. If you heard that, that was Mickey, my dog. He's laying down here and he's asleep. I'll show you. I'm going to take a video of him so you can see. It is so cute. He has had a year, that is for sure. I'll talk about that in a little bit, um, but mm, just smells so nice. This is such a lovely fragrance. I'm actually gonna use this brow perfecter. This is a wax pencil. So if you're into fluffing your eyebrows, I can't really pull off that look. I'm just not that cool. But yeah, this would be a good product to do that with because it really holds them in place. It's a pencil made of like it's just a wax pencil and it's clear but yeah so where was I going with that oh I was telling you about when I worked at Blue Mercury and that's when I fell in love with cosmetics I loved it before because I did work out a couple of other beauty stores before then <laughs> he's still snoring but I yeah I just I fell in love with the luxury beauty space because they sell a lot of really beautiful skincare lines there like Revive and La Mer and that's where I learned about those they also sell um, more like skinceuticals and more science-based brands like that Derma Logico is another brand that um, I remember it being special that we carried that. I know Ulta has that now, but I'm not sure if Ulta had it back then because I think you had to have a spa attached to the store in order to carry it for some reason. That's what I'm thinking, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? This was a very long time ago, back in 2012. So this was many, many years ago. Right now I'm using one of my other favorite products. This is the Westman Atelier uh, Contour Stick in Biscuit. Now, Westman Atelier is one of my favorite, favorite brands right now. I'm obsessed with anything and everything that Gucci Westman does. I just think she's brilliant and um, I wish I was her. <laughs> I think she's fantastic um, and I just love all of her products. So this is such a great product because it's not a very warm contour stick. It's just kind of cool toned ish. It's just the right, the perfect shade for contouring without it feeling too muddy. And um, yeah, I, I really love it a lot. And it's so easy to use because you can just blend it in with your fingertips like this and it just blends in so beautifully. The only thing that I wish is that she would create refills for these. I just feel like that would be such an easier, it would be easier to purchase, like you could uh, save money with the component by just purchasing the refill, which I've heard her say in videos that that's her goal. So hopefully that's something that's coming soon, just because I feel like that would be 
really helpful to have. And I feel like we're seeing a lot of brands that are coming out now with refillable, um, with re refillable products, even uh, fragrances now, which is very neat. Now I'm gonna use the Eye Base Essentials from Trish McAvoy. So this is kind of like um, concealer for your eyes. So if you have any purple veins like me or shadows, it's just one of those products that you can use kind of as an all over base. It does dry quickly, so you do have to work kind of fast. I will say that I sometimes will just wear this on its own. It's one of those products that you can just put it on, blend it in with your finger and you're good to go. It does not crease on me, which I like, but it is dry. So if you have oily, oilier eyelids, this might be a good product to try because it is dry. Um, but if you have drier skin, I'm not sure if this would be something that you would like just because it can be kind of drying and pull. See, I didn't blend this one fast enough and I can already kind of see it a little bit. So you just have to work really quickly, but it does work really well. And I love using it as a base and kind of just to conceal any purple on my lids. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my palette that I got for the holiday season, the Chanel Holiday Palette which looks like this. It is so beautiful. And I've been trying to use this as much as possible because I'm just, I'm really, really enjoying these colors. And I just think they're so pretty, even if not just for the holidays. So it is a little bit more sparkly and shimmery for a daytime look, but I don't know, I just think it's fun and I'm feeling festive. So my birthday was two days ago. And um, no, yes, two days ago. Today's February 1st, happy February. I am looking forward to this, I feel like after my birthday is kind of like the new year. I have been thinking a lot about, you know, my goals and everything that I want for this coming year. And like I said, my motto is 38 clean slate. So last year, because of dealing with all of the health issues, I didn't really get to put any more focused effort into creating content because outside of work and everything, I just didn't have the energy. And I don't really want to do something unless I can put my efforts into it, unless I can really give myself to it. I just, I'm not the type of person to just do things here and there. I, I really want to show up if I can show up. And I felt like last year, once I would start to get ahead and I would start to show up, then something would happen it sounds like a helicopter. I don't know if you can hear it, but something would happen and you know, I, I would have to just kind of take a step back, focus on my health for a little bit. I'm using this really beautiful taupe shade here kind of into my crease a little bit. But yeah, I, uh, I really want to, my intention for this year is to focus more on creating content here and just show up more online. Uh, I love being creative in this way and I really love connecting with you all. I always feel kind of, excited for the spring season. It's my favorite season. I've talked about that before and I get excited to go shopping. Last year, my big plan was to redo my closet and to invest in some more basics because I had just kind of outgrown the styles that I had and I needed to revamp. It's been years since I have revamped things in my closet and this year, I am doing that. I put it off last year because of suddenly having all of these health issues in the spring. And then after I finally started to feel like myself again, Matt got COVID and then he got the flu and then he got strep throat. All, he got sick four months in a row, once a month. And when your partner is sick, you know, you kind of have to take on additional responsibilities. And it was just one thing after another. So this is the year. This is the year that I am going to focus on getting my wardrobe back in order. I would love to put some things on Poshmark that I know I'm not gonna wear anymore. Um, I just have a lot that I need to do that I've been putting off and putting off. And I feel like if I vlog and if I chat with you guys while I'm doing it, it would motivate me to do it a little more. So I do want to talk a bit about what happened with my dog Mickey. Um, I'll tell a little bit of the story here. I'm gonna say that I still get a little heated. It's still very fresh. So basically, gosh, I don't know. It's so, there's so many things that happened. It's very hard to not go into 
every single detail to explain this. So I'm gonna do my best here. So I guess to start, we took Mickey to the vet for a loose tooth and our vet recommended that we remove it. And it was odd that it was loose because he had just had a deep cleaning the year prior. So in 2022, um, he had had a deep cleaning. We take really good care of his teeth. We feed him food that we cook. So we dropped him off for surgery that morning. And after uh, a little while, the vet calls and says, we have, or I would like to remove more teeth. It looks like he has periodontal disease and some other teeth. And is it okay if I go ahead and remove those because uh, it's just better for his health? And we were both like, yes, please do what you need to do to keep him healthy. When we arrive to pick him up after his surgery is over, they come out and say, oh, this little guy has had a day. He's had 11 teeth removed. And Matt and I just look at each other like, 11? 11, you removed 11 teeth because of periodontal disease? Like, why couldn't we just go to first try cleaning? But, you know, hindsight is 2020. Matt and I were both shocked. We didn't say anything. We were just kind of took taken aback. I was already anxious because when you, you know, if you're dropping your dog off, your baby, to the vet for surgery, I don't know about you, but I just can't do anything else other than just worry, worry, worry. So I was just happy that he was done and I could take him home, but I just was shocked at that, the fact that they took 11 teeth. It's still just very shocking when I say it, so I'm like kind of struggling a little bit. <laughs> so we go home and that weekend, uh, this was on a Friday, and then Matt and I both were, stayed home the whole weekend with Mickey while the anesthesia wore off. And I just felt like he wasn't really acting like himself, even though I know he's coming out of having surgery and everything. It just felt like he, I don't know, it was, it was odd how he was acting because he had, he's gone under for things before and he typically didn't have the effects seem to last that long like he was very lethargic so he started to squint one of his eyes and i'm i told his left eye and i told matt this is not normal you know i'm with him all day this is not something that he does this is a new behavior maybe it's him reacting to the anesthesia or to the pain but either way we've got to call the vet we've got to figure out what to do and so we called and said, can we please make an appointment for him to come in? And they said, well, uh, because we wanted to bring him in right away. And they said, we don't have any appointments until Wednesday. This was on Monday. And they said, we don't have any appointments until Wednesday. Um, and that's gonna be with a different doctor than the one that did the surgery. If you want the one that did the surgery, basically our vet who we typically go to, if you want him to look at him, if you want him to look at Mickey, then we'll, you'll have to bring him in tomorrow and drop him off at 8 a.m. Drop him off, we'll keep him in the back and he can look at him between appointments. And I'm like, that's definitely not ideal, but I would rather the vet who performed the surgery look at him than somebody that we've never even gone to before, which I thought was odd. So um, this is the Sephora Ultimate Gel Eyeliner in the shade Olive Glitter. Now, I will say that Laura Mercier made a coal pencil in bl called Black Gold. That was my absolute favorite eyeliner. I wore it for years and years and years, and then they discontinued. And this is the closest pencil that I have found that is similar. I know that there's probably others, but this is such an affordable price. It stays on well, it's waterproof, and I love it. So I'm just gonna tight line with this. So anyways, overnight, it was, it just got way worse. I, Matt and I both were up all night long with him. He just was so lethargic, like in, so, you could tell that he was in so much pain. And so first thing in the morning, 7 a.m., we're in the car going to the vet and Matt called on his way and said, we are not leaving him. We're taking, we're staying with him and we, have to see something's going on because he was in pain all night. And so the vet tech comes out and she 
takes Mickey in the back and she said, I'm gonna go and ch just take a look at him and see what I think. And she came back and she's like, he looks like he's okay. He is squinting his eye a bit. We'll see when the vet arrives. He's not here yet. He probably won't be here until nine. So Matt and I just sat in the room waiting. When the doctor finally got there, he didn't even come into the room that we were in, which looking back was a red flag. I didn't notice it at the time because my I was just thinking of Mickey and how he was in pain, but he didn't even come into the room. The vet tech took Mickey back into the back and said the vet's gonna do check his vitals. She came back and she said he thinks his vitals look fine. It could just be a reaction to his pain meds. It just could be that he's, um, you know, a little bit not feeling like himself. So keep your appointment on Wednesday and go and see the other vet so she could take a closer look and see what's going on. So we did what we were told. We kept giving him his, I mean, cause he's on pain medicine. He was already on gabapentin for pain because of his teeth, his tooth removal. So I was also thinking, well, maybe they're right. Maybe this is just a reaction to being on a high dose of pain medicine because we he's never on things like that. And he just had 11 teeth removed. That's insane. So now on Wednesday, we take him back to the same vet, different doctor, and she looks at him and says, um, yeah, there's some inflammation here in his eye. Let's put him on a steroid drop and see how it goes. And so we do that. I'm noticing that his behavior is different. He ran into the chair, um, the leg, the uh, chair leg, and I just feel like something is off, something is not right. I also felt like when he would look at me in certain light that he was developing a cataract, which I know is a red flag. So I told Matt and Matt and I were talking about it and I said, I think we need to go and get a second opinion at another vet. So thankfully we found another vet who was able to see us right away. And the vet literally took one look, did a little reflex thing with his hand and said, yes, this dog can't see out of this eye. And I said, I knew it. I knew it, you know? and. <laughs> That just is why we should be advocates for our own health and why we should always ask for a second opinion. I'm not compare. I mean, I'm, I am comparing us people, humans to animals, but it's the same thing. You know, you know your body best and y your instinct. I think it's just important to follow your intuition and your instinct. And if you know something is wrong, if you feel something is off, continue to get opinions until you get help. Because I just, I could tell that something wasn't right. I could just see in it, it, in his eye that it looked different. The, the other vets, both of them just kind of brushed us off as if, oh, it's just a reaction, here's a steroid. And this vet, I mean, it wasn't even five minutes of him looking that he knew, he just knew. And so he referred us uh, to an eye specialist in the area. He wanted us to be able to get an ultrasound, which they didn't have the equipment there to do an ultrasound, um, which is common. So we were able to have an ultrasound performed and the results came back that he has a detached retina due to blunt or sharp trauma from the surgery, meaning it's not, it, we're not able to get it fixed. He will be permanently blind. And all of this from a tooth extraction surgery that we thought was for one tooth. With that came, I mean, obviously Matt and I both, he, he is our child. It's just been so hard to deal with um, knowing that he was in pain that that happened. How did that happen? What happened? It just still blows my mind. And this happened in early October. Um, we just went to see our eye specialist again last week. We've been going constantly. He is on a daily drop. At one point he was on, we had to administer medi medication to him 11 times uh, during a day 
Um, and it's just an ongoing, it's been months. He ended up developing a corneal ulcer because he pawed at his eye and it was so fragile because of the inflammation, which is the main thing that we've been having to monitor because if the inflammation wouldn't go down, then there was talk that we would have to get his eye removed. And it's just been an emotional roller coaster, as you can imagine. And just one of those things that you don't, think could ever happen. It's just such a, I, I don't even know um, what to say. Obviously, Matt and I will be taking legal action. I do have to admit though that I just haven't had a chance, neither one of us have really had the emotional stability to look into it yet. Um, it's just a lot of logistics and a lot of pieces that have to, uh, a lot of things that we have to put together, but we've been keeping records of everything. We've been really diligent in that. In fact, I have a spreadsheet going um, with all of the expenses and everything that we've had to do. And um, more than likely, we're probably going to have to keep him on an eye drop for the rest of his life. It, it, it's been such a shocking thing for us to cope with. So that kind of just derailed the whole end of uh, last year going into the holiday season. We had had a lot of plans and some things that we were gonna do, just Matt and I, uh, goals that we had, and we had to put those aside to be able to take care of him for a while. We didn't even really want to leave him or we couldn't leave him. He just started barking. I think he knows that I'm talking about him. Um, but oh, by the way, this is the Westman Atelier petal. You could do a five minute face with the Westman Atelier. I also have her foundation stick, which I love. I wear the shade Atelier too. Um, but you could do a quick five minute face with this. Use this as your blush, eyeshadow, a little on your lips. I've done that many, many times. I can't stop talking about her products. I just think they're fantastic. And um, yeah, I, I wanna try everything. I don't have everything, I have a lot but I haven't tried everything yet. Oh gosh, I have this very not blended contour here. Okay, that's better. Sorry if that's been bothering you. That would have been bothering me had I not seen it. I'm also gonna use the Westman Atelier Highlight Stick in Lit. It just adds such a nice natural highlight. It's so pretty. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's been happening and kind of fill you in and talk about the reasons why I've just not been showing up online. I mean, all of my energy has been going to first taking care of my own health and then Matt with how many times he's been sick and then Mickey and everything that happened with him. And it's just last year was tough, but this year I want to finally get to all of the goals that I had for myself last year and just get back into creating again and doing things that I love. And um, yeah, I, I really want to connect here more. Wow, I'm making a mess. So lip liner, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury. It's very little, I've used this. I use it all the time. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna use this in, of course, Pillow Talk. This is one of those products that I have just purchased time and time and time again. And I'm actually gonna take some of this petal that I used on my cheeks and put a little on my lips. Now I will say one of the downsides of having Invisalign is that lipstick can migrate and then it'll get on the tray. I have to be really mindful of that because I'll be walking around with lipstick all over my teeth. So I really just wanted to fill you in in this video and chat about things, talk a little bit about what happened last year and why I stopped showing up, what has been going on with me and talk a little bit about my intentions and how I wanna move forward this year. I'm actually very inspired and excited to start creating content here. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I actually, towards the end of last year, started saving a lot of my empties because I wanna do one of those old school videos uh, showing you my empties and all the things because I love watching videos like that. I just think they're so fun and I haven't done one in so many years here. It used to be something that I would do regularly way back in 2013 YouTube era. Um, but yeah, all of those videos are now private because they're so embarrassing. Um, but I started saving some, so I wanna do something like that. I think it would just be fun to do favorites videos and styling videos. And um, I have 
a massive J. Crew order that I just made. Like I said, I was trying to get some things to start building my wardrobe again. So I'll share that with you when it arrives. And um, yeah, I hope that you're doing well. Please let me know how you've been in the comments. I apologize for being so all over the place with this channel and showing up so sporadically. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for just being patient with me and allowing me space. But yeah, now I'm ready to move forward and I feel like 38 clean slate. Um, it's just going to be a really exciting year and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you very soon. Bye.